guys i'm back in the garage and i just couldn't keep myself from starting another mod this week so two mods in one week and also the clutch or and the levers video the enduro stand video and tomorrow i will also receive the Cam camel adv one finger clutch which i will install and of course film even if it's an easy procedure, but it could be a good with a comparison video. But today we're gonna do something else. And maybe some of you guys have seen Mike Mulligan posting on the different of the Facebook groups for a Tender 700, but he did a brake lever mod. So you have another higher shelf on the brake lever. So it's easier to access depending on if sitting down and standing up riding. So you don't need to bring your foot forward and you know play with it in the air, so to say, that you sometimes have to do when you're riding off-road and whatnot, depending on how your lever is adjusted, of course. So we're gonna look into that, but big shout out to Mike Mulligan. I will post his uh, blog post video up here. So he has a lot of different blogs or posts, I would say, uh, regarding different upgrades, uh, add-ons and so on, and reviews. So check Mike out, he's a good guy, so the link up there. So let me explain what I mean. So you have your foot here breaking. When you're sitting down, your feet are a bit more uh, leaned forward. So it's easy to access the front brake, I mean the rear brake. But when you're standing up, you're leaning back and so on, your foot is a bit more flat or actually upwards. So you would need to bend it a lot more forward to break. So if you put a little addition here, so you have a little plateau up here, then you could always twist your foot to the left and you don't need to angle it down as much when braking. So we will try this out. Of course, I have a water pump protector here from Triple Clamp, which sticks out a bit, a little bit more. I'm sure I have bent my, my lever inwards a bit as well, you know, in all crashes and so on. So I will, you know, check that. And while I'm at it, and for you guys as well, check your rear brake pedal uh, or lever, because sometimes it does not want to go up all the way. So I know that Pavel uh, has made a video regarding this. So you can actually remove the, the lever from back here, check the return spring, and also the bolt that goes through and everything is uh, greased up. So it's a, a smooth action, so to say. But first of all, we will measure everything here because what I need to do is make a kind of bracket that goes in through this little wedge shape hole that you see here on the other side that mates up in to that hole so I have a base and then I will have a, another uh, aluminium part that will stick up here and that will be my upper shelf on the brake lever so I have some uh, L shape extrusions uh, aluminium which is three millimeters thick and I think uh, that might be a good thing to use. So yeah, let's uh, get to it. Some slight change of plan. So this is the, this is a 30 by 30, uh, three millimeter thick extrusion. This is a 50 by 50 times four millimeter extrusion. So I'll probably go with the thicker one because I have more surface and you will see what I mean. Uh, when I make this, how it will be, how it looks and so on. So let's get to it. So I just cut these two pieces out. So it requires some more fitting, of course, filing and so on. But this one will sit inside here and stick up. Of course, it will not be this long, <laughs> but you will see. And then this piece will slide in might be too short uh, we'll see we'll slide in through the gap here and then go through here as well so it's seated in place and then we will just have a 
countersink hole here and uh, a hole in this plate and a, a nut underneath so it will be held in place so to say we'll see i think it will work uh, and my brake lever is a bit pushed in so i will have to bend it out a bit uh, even this one was disformed um, due to some crashes but yeah let's get on so we made li this little piece here and we have this piece so this little piece goes in here uh, should fit wrong way around it went so smoothly before so it sits here it locks in there I will shorten this up and also trim this side and then this piece drops in like that and then I will drill a hole uh, through both both of these and then countersink so I can have a cone head bolt through here and then have a nut on the other side of this one so they will lock in place and cannot move then I will just decide on the length here so I will have to try that out and uh, see how it how it works so we're getting there we just countersunk that little hole there I uh, will test mount in and then I will figure out which height of this angled piece I want to have so so now I cut it off so I started to file some grips in there with just a triangle shaped needle nose fly, uh, file uh, it's getting stuffed with aluminium so I think it will <laughs> not work as good but I have larger files as well then we'll see how it looks on the bike. So there we go, guys. It's done. Here's how it works. Regular. And then the top one. And it's no problem accessing both. I could I actually maybe made it a bit longer, but I think this is perfect. I will try it with uh, my boots as well. Plus I need to adjust this a bit. It's, uh, I think it's a bit bent, but uh, turns out it's a good thing maybe. We will see after some riding, but that's how you make a rear brake lever shelf or a, <laughs> I don't know what you should call it, but uh a riser or something like that so all the uh, corners are filed down a bit so no real sharp edges this have some uh, intendants or some file down parts on it so i will be able to grip it with my boot and we will have to try this out off-road and see how it works going down uh, steep hills needing to break uh, use your rear brake without lifting your foot from from the pegs to reach uh, the the brake so we'll see so that's it guys that's a wrap very easy to make and hopefully it might improve riding off-road down hills needing to brake with your rear brake or your rear wheel and not needing to lift your foot off the pegs to reach the rear brake uh, lever so hopefully it will improve things we will see and i will of course come back to you with this in writing videos telling you uh, what my experience have been and if it needs to be longer shorter what not you never know so i hope you guys enjoy this it maybe you got some inspiration and thanks again mike for uh, putting this blog post up um, and I totally forgot about that. I've seen the ones you can purchase. Uh, but yeah, this will probably work. So let's see. Take care, guys. Stay safe and don't do anything stupid. Cheerios. Bye bye.